first at 10, two years have gone by since multiple dams in mid-Michigan breached, destroying buildings and flooding communities. It was May 19, 2020, when the Edenville and Sanford dams failed, sending hundreds of thousands of gallons of water into the neighboring communities. Governor Whitmer declared a state of emergency for Midland County, and she also tasked Eagle with recommendations to prevent future failures happening elsewhere. And people who live along the rivers of West Michigan are especially interested in the condition of our water infrastructure, with Consumers Energy looking at retiring its hydro dams. Tonight saw the first of a series of town hall discussions. They want to hear what this means for the communities impacted. Fox 17's Matt Whitcoast is hearing from many worrying about their future. And Matt, what concerns did they have? Well, Jamie, people near the Hardy Dam are worrying about the possibility of it getting decommissioned. They say their communities have done so much to build around the dam. Many are hoping Consumers Energy is going to look at other scenarios as they move forward. The Hardy Dam. A peaceful place for many families to swim at the retention pond. Every weekend we would be up at the at the lake. And like I said in there, they learned how to swim. The future of this 91 year old hydroelectric dam is in the hands of its owner, Consumers Energy. The utility company holding its first of 13 meetings at Nowago High School to discuss what's next for its fleet. Hardy for us is our, is our largest dam. Uh, it's a fantastic facility for us. Consumers Energy says a Hardy hydroelectric dam is looking at licensing renewal from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Also, at the meeting, mentioning it's entering into a retirement process. We have a continuous routine maintenance program that we do for all the year. I can assure you that our dams are safe and they'll continuously, they're up to code, they're up to their... More than 80 people hearing what the future could look like in one of three ways, including selling the dam to a third party. If we can, as a community, uh, be creative in regards to the third party uh, owner and we could possibly be an investor in that uh, maintenance of the dam. Building a new barrier. Oh yeah, no, I'd want the water to stay, please. I don't care if you remove the hydro part of it, but the water basin, yeah, it would, it would kill us in New Ego. It would kill us. Or completely removing it. So we think we'd like to start that conversation with Consumers Energy about how can we thoughtfully keep some of the impoundments in place and at the same time reconnect the river for all the right environmental purposes. Josh Burgett with Consumers Energy says the hydro fleet does operate at a total loss of $152 million. We have intents to reinvest in this facility. We have an auxiliary spillway project and other projects that we plan to reinvest in this facility. Burgett couldn't give a comment on a start date for that possible construction of that spillway. Consumers Energy runs five hydro dams in West Michigan. If you would like to attend these meetings, I'll attach where and when to this article online. In the newsroom, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.